So, I've got an old Sony Vio laptop that's probably from about 2009 and it's really, really slow these days. So I just want to try and upgrade it, make it a lot faster. So how am I going to do that? I bought a uh, Samsung um, SSD, which is a solid state drive, which is going to replace the drive inside the laptop. And this should make the whole thing go a lot faster because the processing, etc., will be a lot quicker because there's no actual move, moving parts in this. So this is what it is. I got this from Amazon for about um, £100. So I'm going to show you how to uh, install this and apparently this will be a really, really good upgrade that should actually speed up the laptop. So the first thing I've got to do is obviously transfer the data that's in the laptop onto this. And how I do that is by um, utilising this uh docking station here so I can dock that in and then using some software which you download which is called data migration from the uh, um, Samsung, Samsung website. So I'll just load that. And that what, what should happen then you select your drive which is the drive, the local drive and then the target drive when I connect that up and it should just transfer everything across. So uh, I shall have a go at that now. So that's the Samsung data migration app open. Uh, and as you can see, it selected the source drive, which is C, and it's copying it to the target drive, which is the uh, one terabyte SSD drive. So the reason it's going to be a lot quicker is obviously data transfer and access speeds are a lot quicker on a solid state hard drive rather than the old style uh, spinning disc which obviously take a lot longer so I'm hoping it'll breathe a, a little bit of life back into this this old laptop but we'll see how it goes at the end of the day. Well we're 42 minutes in or 43 minutes in and uh, we've only copied across 10% at the moment so you can see it's going to take quite a long time to uh, actually migrate across. So we're on uh, 5 hours 58 minutes and it's 87% so nearly finished so it's a long old time before it finishes migrating across. So as you can see the migration's now finished and the uh, computer's turned itself off so it's now just a case of um, getting the hard drive that we've copied the data to and putting this little baby into the laptop so I'll show you how to do that. Bear with us because uh, I'm not sure if I can speed this up during the editing process, but I will just show you how to do it. So I'll unplug that. Uh, I've unplugged the uh, power cable. So I'm now going to take the battery off just to make sure there is no power to the system basically and then nothing can, can short out or whatever. So I'm going to undo where the um, hard drive is fitted. And then there's four screws inside there. I can see on the hard drive there is a little cradle as well that I'm going to have to uh, take off and put onto the new hard drive as well. And obviously I have to be careful not to drop these little tiny minute screws into the uh, back of your laptop. What I'll do when I when I it used to take about well I did I did test it and it was three minutes forty to load onto Windows. So what I'll do when I've got this um, changed over, I'll, I'll do a test and just see what the difference is. So that just pulls out of there. As I say, now I need to um, 
get the cradle off and put it onto the new hard drive. Because that'll just, you could just slot it in, but then that'll, this will actually hold it in place as it was designed to do. But obviously these solid state drives are a lot less um, prone to movement, whereas the old ones like this, obviously with moving parts, are a lot more susceptible to um, to damage and corruption. So I'm hoping that this has all worked and that the data is transferred over. So I'm interested to see uh, to see what happens. So that's the old hard drive out the way. There's a new one. Yep, they all line up. I think. resurrecting an old laptop that was basically too slow to uh, to be functional if I'm honest with you so if this works for a hundred quid I'll be quite chuffed whoops Right, so now just place this one in, like so, and then just secure this into the system, into the laptop. straightforward job just these screws are a little bit fiddly that's the only oops just bear with me we're nearly there Ready for the big boot up. So that's the new drive now secured in. Just make sure they're all nice and tight. Put the cover back on. battery back in that's the battery back in right Let's give it a go. Let's give it a whirl. Um, let's just plug the power back in. All 
Right, there is a bit of glare on the screen there actually. Um, but anyway, so as I say, it took about three minutes 40 to load into Windows where it actually played the, uh, the music sound. So we'll now switch on and, and see how quick it is. Fingers crossed, it works. Something's happening. Yeah, that's a good sign. And as I say, it used to take about three minutes 40. And look at that. We're in and it's played the music. So where it played that tune there, that was normally about three minutes 40. So I'm happy with that. Let's just, um, you can't hear any sound from it at all because obviously there's no moving parts in that drive. I'm well chuffed that that's working. So say you, you need to download, if you're putting a Samsung one in, you need to download the data migration app and Samsung Magician from the Samsung website. And that, that data migration app works fantastic. So that copied all the data across, so it's basically created a mirror image. Now I shall just try loading a, a Word document and just see how quick that loads. Look at that, wow. That is pretty much instantaneous, that's fantastic. Let's just try uh, loading uh, GoPro quick. This used to take ages to load. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's pretty damn quick, that is. Let's try GoPro Studio. Stuff opens pretty much instantaneously as if it was um as if it was actually just minimize window. Let me just try opening a movie, because that used to lag something chronic on this computer. Let's just try this. It seems to be uh, this seems to be working pretty good. As I say, this used to jutter and lag and everything, so obviously the read ride speed is working fantastic. Okay, so it looks all to be working fantastic. I'm really, really pleased with that for 100 quid. It's breathed uh, new life into this old laptop that's from 2009. Came with Windows 7. It's been upgraded, upgraded to Windows 10, but now I think that's going to be a usable piece of kit and hopefully I should be able to do some uh, video editing on it. Uh, so very chuffed with that. If you found this um, video useful, uh, It'd be useful if you just like and subscribe if you want to see any more videos that I uh, that I do. But um, obviously it's helped some people out. So thanks very much. Close that down and uh, happy days to the Samsung um, hard drive. Solid state hard drive. Cheers.